pretty easy feeling with that John coming down here and, and you know, you know, the last 10 goals against you know, the reigning premiers? Yeah, look, they've been in great form and they're playing, uh, been playing such good footy, obviously, with a, um, a quality team. And we knew it would be a really tough one on the home deck. And but our lads just kept going and going and going. And, uh, you know, I think 28 tackles in the last quarter, I think their pressure was enormous. It just kept on getting greater the longer the game went. Our, 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 um, our pressure around the footy and, you know, just some big moments. The boys stood up in and they did a really good job. So. You know, it was super win. There was, I mean, there were two times I speak when Melbourne got those real um, surges, like early in the second, early in the third, and yeah. very often opposition teams sort of wilt under that. But your ability to respond both times must be really pleasing. For you. Yeah, that's well, Melbourne do it really well. They do it as good as anyone, don't they? They just um, they surge and they kick goals, multiple goals in a short period of time. But start at start of the third, it was you know, there was a few free kick goals. I think there was two or three of those. There was a couple of things that that um, didn't work out and. Um, to, to our players' credit, they kept their head up and kept on working at what they know works and, and keep persisting at, at um, the sort of footy that they knew would get us, get us back. They didn't panic and um, they stayed composed and, and went back to what we do. Do you feel like um, it's sort of a testament to your evenness? As a team, I mean, you haven't got great performances from Buddy or McDonald, Heaney pretty quiet, Warner pretty quiet, and yet, you know, you've come out and turned around a three goal deficit for a great win. Yeah, look, we, we think we've got some good players, but it's it's just not about that. And it's you know, it's about an even it's about being even and everyone contributing and 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 making sure that we all know what our role is. I know it's you know, it's a it's a cliche but it's a it's a real one, you know, it's just everyone working together and understanding what works for us uh, as a team and um, if you're not having a great night still still getting stuff done that we need to get done and um, it was an even performance and everyone contributed and even the blokes that didn't have great nights and um, you know, it's about the, the, the system over the, over the course of four quarters and, and keep working on what we know works. Some good examples of that individually too, like Buddy well beaten early by May but sort of you know, willed himself into that physical contest in the what, second quarter I think it was and then um, that little cameo with Gorn and Hickey in the third quarter where mm. Hickey gave away the free, Gorn kicks the goal and then Hickey mm. comes back and he answers the goal. Yeah, that was at the point of that sort of period when we gave away those frees and kicking goals. And look, they, they were clearly dominant in the air. And um, <clears throat> and so, you know, we, we needed to... There was a few things we were talking about during the course of the game and Stephen May's a brilliant player. You know, he's a brilliant player. So, um, you know, but I thought once we got up to ground... Uh, a bit of dirty ball, wasn't perfect footy at times, but then we get on the hunt. And when we got on the hunt, um, I thought we were pretty good. And um, and so um, you know, sometimes it's just about getting the ball forward and, and getting it to work. And I thought that was, you know, the ability to be able to respond. And Hicks was a good example of that. John, was there, was there was the player told, basically, don't kick it in May? Was that something you could do? There's a sense that you lowered your eyes more. Oh, not specifically, but he was clearly taking some marks, and so I think they work it out. <laughs> not stupid. I mean, it's um, so we, we we got other avenues. I mean, it's just yeah, that's that's okay. It, that's going to happen sometimes, even the, even the great ones. It's going to happen. So we'll find other avenues. I, I don't know how many goal kickers we got, but you know, we'll, we'll find other ways forward. But we, we, you've got to be an even team. And down the, down the other end. Uh Probably Fox, especially in that, there was that moment in the last quarter when Melksham and then Spargo smothered both of those shots. It must yeah. have been a really pleasing moment for you. Yeah, that was. Uh, I thought we were, you know, even where I, from where I was sitting, I thought this is going to take a pretty good effort to be able to stop this because they were out goal side and they were, they were everywhere. And um, we needed a. Th I think the ball hit the deck there at one point and it might have been a fumble or something that worked our way and gave us that split second, a little bit of a delay to get there and. The urgency to get back it was a great piece of play. They just got back hard and and did the job and defended the goal line and um, yeah, you can't ask, ask much more than that. John, did you have a did, did you have a bit of a sit down after the Essendon game? And was there an honest um, conversation with the players about tackling pressure? And has there been a bit of a spike consistently since then? Yeah, but that's no that's no big deal. <laughs> the players that it was. <laughs> yeah, but it's. I mean, that's that happens. I mean, that happens during the course of the game. I mean. Uh, during the course of the year, you're going to have some games where you're just not up to, not up to scratch with certain aspects, and you and you review it honestly. And our leaders have been terrific. You know, they they took responsibility and 
and keep driving the group. Um, you know, they just they just go about their business. They they not you know it wasn't about the young boys. They said right, we need to get this going and keep working at it, and we know what sort of footy we want to play and hold us to account. Pretty simple stuff. Threatening to yeah. take over the game. In the he was pretty important. He was hard and clean. I mean, probably no surprises, um, but he's against some pretty hard and clean opposition players in there. So he was important. You know, he was able to to be desperate, and be be clean a few times when they might have got their tails up. So um, he was able to do that a couple of times at any crucial times. Yeah. Um, you talk about tackling and pressure. Did he really lead the way? Yeah, yeah, he has done. I mean, he's, he plays two ways, and so um, yeah, he's been good at that all year. He's, he just he just competes and and then around the scramble, and then when it's out in the open, he'll go both ways. And often he's down the defensive fifty, and yeah, he's he's good. How valuable uh, do you reckon road bottoms become for you? I mean, he, he's he's one of those younger guys. Yeah. He doesn't seem to get. I think he doesn't seem to get the kudos of say a Warner or a McInerney mm. or someone, but he's he's terrific. He plays with power and hardness. Um, he's just he gets from contest to contest really quickly, and um, he's hard. It's, he, he knows what works for him, and so that's half the battle. He knows what his strengths are. It just so happens that it's important in footy that you know when he plays to his strengths, he's he, that's the way he goes about it. He competes hard, uh, keeps it simple. Can you see him potentially the captain of the club? Oh look. Let's just, uh, yeah. I'll keep the focus on the next couple of weeks, eh? Can you draw on Bud at all? If, I mean, th there's going to be a lot of talk about Bud the next couple of weeks. If it is the end, do, do, you, do you reference that? Do you try and draw something from that, uh, the possibility? Don't? No. John, could you picture Sam Reid doing what he's doing, say, a couple of years ago when injuries were seeming to derail him and mm. it looked like he was struggling? Yeah, he's been good, hasn't he? He's. he's um, yeah, he, I think the ruck stuff's helped him um, because he's been. It's, it can be hard just playing centre half. Well, it's just probably taken me about ten years to work it out. <laughs> probably ought to take some responsibility about that. Um, but giving him a run on the balls actually helped and gets you around the ball. If you're forward all the time, it can be a tough spot. It, you know that's why some of the forwards we've got go through the wings or go through the inside mid, rotate a bit. It can be a, a, a dry spot down there. And um, but he looks he looks clean. Gets him around the footy. Um, his agility and his second and third efforts have been really important for us. He's not a classical ruckman, and he play against two really good ones tonight. But he got the job done. He he um, sprained his foot, but it's okay. He just sort of—I think he just stood in a hole out there somewhere. He said, but he said it's fine. He could have come back on if needed, but he's just going to ice it up. Just the age profile of the group. It's so young. You got two first-round picks, and you're in a home prelim. Did you sort of? Was this realistic this year? I mean, did, was this sort of the, the time, do you think? or is it? I'm not sure whether you, you say what, what the time is. I mean, I, I, mean I, I was really disappointed we lost last year in the first week. I, I just think you just got to take your moments. And um, uh, age profile or not, you just, you just got to work out what works for you. The players hopefully believe that. Um, no matter what game we play, whether it's round one or a practice game or it's a qualifying final or a prelim, um, what works for you? And um, whether they're first year players, second year players, third year players, or Lance at 18 years, um, just what what we know works. Is the difference now just maturity between last year and this year? Uh, oh, we just didn't take our chances. We had 20 more inside 50s last year. We just didn't, didn't kick straight. Sometimes we can look, look look under the under the rug a bit. We just missed our chances in the last quarter. That's it, thanks guys. Thank All right.